It's no secret that the creator of The Chosen, Dallas Jenkins, has said some controversial things. If I go down, I'm going down swinging, protecting my friends and my, my brothers and sisters. I don't deny we have a lot of theological differences, but we... We love the same Jesus. And the subsequent reaction has been, If you watch The Chosen, you're gonna burn! Or, Can't we all just get along? No! But while scrolling through Instagram, I came across this post. And it gave me some concerns and definitely some carryover from the whole Mormon controversy. It says, Repent, Dallas and Jonathan, of your blasphemy and twisting the scriptures. Repent of your Freemasonry in promotion of your true god, Lucifer. And a lot of people in the comment section are asking, Why did he just say no? I left a comment myself and asked the question, are you affirming Freemasonry now? Because the Jesus of Freemasonry and Mormonism are diametrically opposed to the biblical Christ. I've personally done long form deep dives on my YouTube channel about both subjects. And I encourage anybody who hasn't done the due diligence to read books like The God Makers by Ed Decker and Dave Hunt, The Kingdom of the Cults by Walter Martin, and most importantly, Free from Freemasonry by Ron G. Campbell. Freemasonry is nothing more than a false religion of universalism that combines itself with Osiris worship or sun god worship through a 30-plus pyramid scheme disguised as a friendly male fraternity. Much of the same symbology that is used in Freemasonry is also used in Mormonism and on its temples, whether it be the all-seeing eye, the checkered pavement, the coffin, the compass, the acacia branch, the two columns and globes, the secret hand gestures, clothing and rituals for the dead, and so many other satanic crap. And too many have been swindled and sold into ignorant slavery by this cult. Now the show in and of itself doesn't really allude to any of those things, but to say that that's not a possibility in the future based upon what the creators are trying to convey should be enough for the average believer who hears the voice of Christ to say, no, we need to pause. We do not worship the same Jesus. The Jesus of Mormonism is nothing more than a created man of many gods, a pantheon of polytheism, Whereas the God of the Bible, Jesus, is one God, a triune God, a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And there are many distinctions that need to be made. And the accusations of being a Pharisee or denying the Holy Spirit just because you want to be swayed by emotionalism and the great production value that goes along with the Chosen need to stop. We are called to test the spirits. We need to be salt and light, be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. And whether he is ignorant or not, Dallas Jenkins needs to publicly recant Mormonism and Freemasonry. Otherwise, souls are at risk. They serve a different God. They have a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. And anyone who says it's hatred for holding good Christian brothers and sisters in Christ to Orthodox Christianity are flagrantly wrong. This is why the Bible says, do not be deceived. What we say about Christ matters. How we speak about Christ matters. And most definitely how we portray Christ matters. And if we are to associate them with occultism, then we have failed as faithful believers in Christ. And we are in sin that we ought to publicly repent of. If I could speak to Dallas Jenkins directly, I would say, you're not protecting your brothers and sisters in Christ if they're not brothers and sisters in Christ on a spiritual, theological level. You are in fact compromising them and making them guilty of the same sin. Blind guides leading the blind. That is what the Pharisees did. They had a perception of God that needed to be adjusted. And it was false and condemning a lot of people. So much so that when the true Christ appeared, they were appalled. We speak truth to our neighbor. If Dallas Jenkins was a friend to the atheist, the Mormon, the Freemason, etc., he would speak biblical truth to these people and call them to repentance and faith in Christ Jesus, saving himself and his hearers. That's what every person who takes the name of Christ publicly ought to do. Know your faith, know how it differentiates from others, and communicate the gospel fulfilling the Great Commission, actually making disciples who follow the way, the truth, the life, and are the chosen.